Yeah, yeah, there's a challenge that I wanted to do. Um, that's right, I saved this one for stream. You're never gonna beat this Lamau nerd. It's got a 3% pass rate, and the rule is it's a Moab with a thousand cash. To be fair, I've done a few challenges like this, but I haven't done one in a while. What I n figured out was that Druids are actually very good at Moab damage, just base Druids. They have probably the best DPS out of any cheap tower for beating Moabs. And then what I wanted to do coming back, I believe a 201 glue was the plan. So I want to wait until the second this Moab pops, and then I get a 201 glue. Or was it something else? No, I think it's 201. And then I want to sell for other towers, but I don't remember what. But that's how I remember how to beat this mob for cheap. So come on. So then I sell. Well, yeah, I guess I sell. I get, like, hard thorns eventually. I have to have made sure I got the right glue upgrade, though. If I didn't get the glue upgrade, I'm kind of screwed. Strong. Because the glue has to keep soaking and soaking. And let's get, like, an ice tower, maybe? No, the glue stopped. A son of a bitch. Uh, I think I need to have my druids on strong coming back. That's something I forgot. But the glue did wear off, but it looks like the right glue was applied at least. I gotta be smarter with my defense after the mob. But you can see it was really close. So you can tell why this has a 3% pass rate. Because it's such a very specific combo I fucked up. Uh, that a lot of people could fail on that. But it's a neat challenge nonetheless. It's better than those challenges that... Uh, force you to find the right pixel for stuff because this is surprisingly forgiving for how low a pass rate it has The only thing that sucks about this challenge is the title It's lame as shit I still want to get one of these have this on strong. I need to pop the ceramic shells. Maybe I should have had a druid up there, huh? That could have been interesting Thorn swarm, maybe All right, then one of these strong Keep focusing strong. Oh, there's another set of stuff up here. No, okay. It seems that my glue... No, it's all wearing off. I might be overspending on something. I'm not sure what, though. I think my druid is... Or the, the way I actually place these are inefficient, though. If I pop these as soon as possible, we might get more mileage. We should get a bit more mileage here. Ice tower now. Please place... Okay, I think we get this. Yes. No. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> there we go. We beat the Moab. This actually might be the lowest pass rate that I've passed. A clue one rounder. There's selling. I don't like that. How bad can this be? I go glue storm into, I don't know, uh, the fifth tier glue. Maybe I can't afford this. I probably should be using the village for anti-regrow. Oh, that won't matter. Oh, but the camel whites, they get pretty... F Wait, no, I can run this again. Dude, glue storm's sick. Well, maybe it's not sick. It's anti-sick. Damn. Wait, hold on. Primary mentoring for the faster cooldown. That's how I get all the white blooms. Because I just learned that primary mentoring decreases the cooldowns on primary fuckers. So that'll help a lot for the camel whites. Will help out enough. It should, hopefully. It's gonna be close. I think it barely helps. So now I gotta, like, sell this. I don't know when I sell this, though. Because I need a fifth tier glue. I just get it, like, here. Oh, you get no money for selling. Um... Thing is, this is really close to the solution. I just needed the glue in a better spot. What's the uh, stats on the Moebs? Oh, they're normal. All right, but this had to have been it, or really close. So what I maybe need is like the glue to be here. If I do the village here, get the primary mentoring, and I buy this glue gunner, and then sell into this glue gunner, I can afford it. Okay, so that's the solution. We keep the village. Honestly, pretty clever combo. For only two towers, it is interesting. Uh, the brain you gotta use to come up with the solution. I mean, it's not obscenely hard, don't get me wrong. But it is pretty creative. Like, I feel like this challenge would almost be cheapened if it was any harder than it currently is. Like, it's just a clever little knowledge check, basically. 
That's uh, pretty sick. So we sell. We get this like here. And then it should pop. Oh, please. <gasps> no! Again! Did I need a better spot for that? Was there a better spot? Splatter has to be the correct upgrade, too. Because I, I need to pierce, don't I? Actually, I don't know how much pierce this thing gives. Maybe there's some merit to the other glue. <gasps> Come on. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I did differently this time. Well, you know what? I think what I did differently was I attacked the mob sooner. Having this on strong was kind of nice. The 300 challenge. 6% pass rate. Everything's 300%, hence the name. Fourth tier is only. And I don't have water, so I can't do like first strike. It's simple. We just get level 20 Azili. Darn. Oh! <laughs> We're even $1 off. I mean, of course, if Azili was enabled, this would not have a 4% pass rate. Spike Storm has to be my best DPS, right? Call the arms, Spike Storm? We're talking tier 4 towers. You don't get better any better than Dark Champ. And then, yeah, just a bunch of these Spike Storms. I accidentally bought White Hot Spikes like a freaking fool. I should be getting them with Jungle Drums. All right, let's run it. All right, so we gotta do this first, and then a bunch of these. And then we overclock you. And we do swallow the DDT's hole. So an Azili ability is not bad here. But the question is, do we beat the balloons? Oh, it's gonna be close. No, the spikes are gone, but there's one DDT left. Or ZOMG left. We don't win this unfortunately but it's pretty close for a first try i honestly think a zealia ability could be good then so here's how it's gonna go then we get this maybe here and then we get a Zeli. only the level 10 all i need is a level 10 Azili. and then i just spam spike storms because this beats the zmgs it just does Azili is just sick might be my favorite hero now no joke i mean quincy is hard to beat and ben is still a lot of fun but there's not many challenges anymore where i can actually use ben so i guess it doesn't matter if I am playing a normal game of balloons, I do like Ben, though, because he's farming without the effort uh, to farm. So you can just low effort, get stacks of cash. What's not to love? Anyways, we actually have more spike factories than the last time. So we are even more stacked. 17 compared to 14. And then wait for it. Yeah, now we just win. <laughs> Uh, pretty fun solution. 6%er though. 11%. Well, another one of these 76 is no ice. What? So obscenely strong ceramics without an ice tower? Why do I feel like it's Super Maelstrom? Like glue into Super Duper Maelstrom. Oh, uh, this map's actually probably gonna be really weird for it. Can I place both of them here? I can. Well, let's see if Super Maelstrom does it. The glue actually doesn't really matter here. Mmm, it's close! Oh, we even get a few of them. Uh, I feel like Super Maelstrom is still the move. Glue Strike into Super Maelstrom could be good. So we still get the tack right away, of course. And then we get the Glue Strike. So like here. Now this sells for 64. Sorry, 67, which means I don't get the Super Maelstrom. Hmm. Do I even get the Glue ability in time? I think that's a fair question to ask. Well, here's an idea then. I could go... I could restart. I could go glue hose into Super Maelstrom just with the power of selling. Because regular Maelstrom does let you get the ability up fast. So get one of you, just hose. 4,000. So we actually do get there. So that means I can get these. And the thing is we actually do glue pretty much every ceramic here. So I'm going to wait until this is everything's glued, then sell and then get Super Maelstrom. And then use it. Dude, we pop so much. We pop so much. Are you kidding me? Is there a better spot for the Super Maelstrom? Maybe this is a little better? Maybe the glue goes down here. Alright. So this was a pretty good usage, I think. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. I was a little nervous, but we, we just needed to position nicely. Round 15, primary problem. Two towers, no selling, 
3,000 starting cash in primary only for insane speed balloons. All right, so I'm feeling the tack shooter here. This is the round with pinks. What upgrades do I have on tack, by the way? Oh, wait, I have Bio Boomer. I have Bio Boomer. That's probably even better. Bio Boomer in a good spot. Positioning Bio Boomer is legitimately difficult. Hear me out. Here, but I'm last. I almost think I want Red Hot Ranks. I don't think the Pierce... Well, the Pierce might matter. Let's try this first, but I'm going to keep Red Hot Ranks in the back of my mind. So this is not going to pop everything. We are still going to have some misses. Then I have one more tower. It could be a tack. Tack might be all right, actually. Faster shooting and then more tacks, even more tacks. Let's go. Oh, geez. After seeing how space these are out, I'm feeling like I actually wanted not this upgrade. Unless. Mm, this is pretty good so far. Tag shooter would come in with a clutch, but do we beat pink balloons? Oh, God. The speed. We one shot. Oh, that was kind of close. I think we do better with the other boomer. But honestly, this is a pretty strong start, at least in my opinion. This is really good at catching these leaks. The range is bigger, though, which is kind of bad in a way. But we do two layers of damage. <gasps> no! <laughs> that unfortunate red. Honestly, I still think there's merit. I'm just going to change up the spot a little. Oh, do the plants come up on a time-based thing? I actually always thought it was a round-based thing. Uh, I want to see if they come up ever. Because the stun could be helpful for making sure we don't screw ourselves. Yo, this spot's a lot better, though. We solo yellows. Do we do pinks, though? Green balloon's fine. <gasps> no, it's too slow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What if I try a different tack? Like, we need to one-shot greens, basically, and the tack shooter is the move for that. If I can get, like, faster shooting on this, maybe I've got a, a move. And hope this just one-shots. Do I get money? Maybe I get more tax during the round. Actually, I do. This could work. Oh, that's it! Not bad at all! Only took a couple tries. I honed in on the strategy right away, just with a little tweaking, we got it. Cool puzzle! Didn't require too much luck, just good upgrades. Damn, a 9%er. How about this one, round 14, the impossible.